7.7 Estimating Hypothesis Accuracy Video created by Stanford Crowd Course Initiative My name is Ophelia So far uh, we have covered the concepts behind machine learning We described in general how to work with uh, our data and gave details on the main types of data models regression, classification and clustering. In this module we will be covering a wide range of techniques for estimating how accurate your hypothesis is. Sample error versus a true error confidence interval, Bernoulli process, binomial distribution, sampling error as estimator, binomial normal distributions, comparing, comparing two algorithms, uh, e modifications on the t-test. Here uh, we are the, the definition of true error and sample error. The problem is uh, we want to know the true mistake, true error, we, but we can only measure the sample error. And we have the following assumptions. We assume that the sample S is drawn at random uh, using the same distribution D for which uh, future examples uh, will be drawn. Drawing an example from D does not influence the probability that another example will be drawn next. Examples are independent of uh, classifier hypotheses. H uh, we are being tested. We want to know how well a machine learner which uh, learned the hypothesis H uh, as the approximation of the target function f performs uh, in terms of classifying a novel and seeing example correctly. We want to assess uh, the confidence that uh, that we want we can have in this classification measure. But the problem we always have too little data. All this seems well known from the grounds of statistics. To evaluate machine learning techniques, we rely heavily on probability theory. In the next slides, basic knowledge of probability theory, including the terms mean, standard deviation, probability density function, PDF, and the concept of Bernoulli trial, are considered now. Bernoulli process. Uh, a Bernoulli trial is a trial with a binary outcome, for which the probability that the outcome is 1 equals p. Think of a coin toss of uh, an old warped coin with the probability of throwing heads being p. A Bernoulli experiment is a number of Bernoulli trials performed after each other. These trials are independent and identically distributed by definition. As we can see, this is called a binomial distribution. The graph is a good example of a PDF. At this moment, we have a question. What is the best estimate of the accuracy, accuracy uh, of a future examples drawn from the same distribution? True error equals to p, expect, expected value of the sample error is really n times p over n, this is p, then uh, the best estimate of the true error is the sample error. 
What is a probable error in this accuracy estimate? We want to assess that the confidence that we can have in this classification measure. What we really want to estimate is a confidence interval for the true error and n% percent confidence interval for some parameter p is an interval that is expect, expected uh, with probability n% percent to contain uh, e.g. a 95% confidence interval 0.2-0.4 means that with probability 95% P lies between 0 0.2 and 0 0.4. With the normal distributions, we have good things. Given enough experiments, a binomial distribution converges to a normal distribution. Comparing the two algorithms, the good thing, given enough experiments, a binomial uh, distribution converts to a normal distribution. We have, we have seen this. The, the means of the distributions are not enough to say that one of the classifiers is better. In all cases, the main difference is the same. That's, uh, that's why the, the, we need to run a statistical test to tell us uh, if there is indeed a difference between the two distributions. To sample the test. Null hypothesis. Two sets of observations, X, I, are independent random samples for normal distributions with equal means. For example, x, y cover the classification errors on two uh, different datasets. Pay rate the test. Null hypothesis, the difference between the preservation x and i are a random sample for, from a normal distribution with mean equals to zero and unknown variance. It's called uh, paired because the observation are matched, matched. They are not independent. For example, X and I call with the classification errors on the same faults of cross, of cross validation from two different algorithms. The test fold are the same, i.e. they are matched. We can see the statistic. If the calculated statistic value t is above the threshold chosen for statistical significance, then the null hypothesis that the two groups do not differ is rejected in favor of the alternative hypothesis, which typically states that the groups do differ. Significance level is equal to one man, uh, minus confidence level, so usually 5%. Significance level alpha percent, alpha times out of 100. You will find a statistical significant difference between the distributions, even if there was none. It's uh, essentially defined our tolerance level. To summarize, we only have to compute t, set alpha, and we use a lookup table to check if uh, our value t is higher than the value in the table. If yes, then our sets of observations are different. Then null, null hypothesis is rejected.
in this module we cover we we have covered a wide range of techniques for estimating for uh, how accurate uh, your uh, hypothesis when working with classification models by example uh, we we have seen sample error versus true error confidence interval Bernoulli, proce Bernoulli processes, binomial distribution, normal distribution, and uh, how to end comparing two, comparing the results of uh, two algorithms. See you soon.